Welcome to Tube Game Video Channel. Today, we're diving into an exciting review of Lost Castle 2, the much anticipated sequel in the roguelike genre. Whether you're a fan of action RPGs or just love exploring indie games, you're in the right place. We'll be exploring the game's combat mechanics, visual style, and much more, so stick around to find out why this game is getting so much buzz. The gameplay in Lost Castle 2 is a delightful mix of roguelite elements and RPG mechanics. The combat system, while not revolutionary, feels refined and enjoyable. Unlike its predecessor, which had its combat largely dependent on combos, Lost Castle 2 emphasizes ability-based combat. This change adds a strategic layer, as players must think critically about their abilities and how they interact with different enemies. The weapon variety is commendable, offering distinct experiences with each type. For example, the two-handed weapons, while powerful, require timing and precision, making them feel vastly different from quicker, lighter weapons. This diversity keeps the gameplay fresh, as experimenting with different loadouts can dramatically change your playstyle. The inclusion of a shield bash combo is particularly satisfying, allowing for crowd control and adding depth to combat encounters. Visually, Lost Castle 2 retains the charming, cutesy art style of the original game but with noticeable upgrades. The animations are smoother, and the environments are more detailed, creating an engaging atmosphere. The game's aesthetic is reminiscent of Rotwood, with its whimsical yet polished look, making it a joy to explore each level. One of the game's significant draws is its co-op mode, both online and local. However, it currently lacks local co-op, a feature many fans of the first game miss. Online co-op can be hit or miss due to desync issues, especially if players forget to set their servers correctly. When set correctly, my experience with random players was smooth, with no significant desync issues, making for an enjoyable multiplayer experience. Lost Castle 2 strikes a fair balance in difficulty. It is challenging, requiring players to grind and learn from each run. However, it doesn't feel punishingly difficult, making it accessible for both casual and hardcore gamers. The progression system, including static upgrades and a new camp with NPCs, provides a satisfying sense of growth and customization. The rune system adds another layer of strategy, allowing players to tailor their characters to their preferred playstyle. Despite a few bugs and the absence of local co-op, Lost Castle 2 shines as an early access title. The developers have been proactive in addressing issues, with frequent updates and fixes, showing a commitment to improving the game. The engaging combat, charming visuals, and potential for great co-op play make it a standout in the indie roguelike genre. For fans of games like Castle Crashers and Hades, Lost Castle 2 is a must-try. It's a promising sequel that not only improves upon its predecessor but also carves out its own identity. With continued development, this game could become a staple for action RPG and roguelite enthusiasts. Highly recommended for anyone looking for a fun, challenging, and visually delightful adventure. Overall, Lost Castle 2 is a testament to what a sequel should be, a refined and expanded experience that respects the original while innovating in new and exciting ways. Whether you're playing solo or with friends, it's a journey worth embarking on. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends. And if you want to stay updated on all the latest game reviews and content, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so leave a comment below if you have any feedback or if you noticed anything we missed. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.